Hello everybody, I'm Shelly, and this, this, point right, this is Comfortably Blind. Anyway, so I ordered a couple of months ago, about two months ago, I ordered a, a, a pink Holga. It took it two months to get here, and in that amount of time, there's been, you know, the outbreak of coronavirus. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I took it out of the cardboard box just like this. Well, actually, not just like this. I took it out with this lid open, and this little funny little caution tag here says, says um, tamper proof, do not accept if seal is broken. Well, it was already open. But oh well. And besides the fact that, let's see, we can take this right off without breaking the tamper-proof seal. Kind of funny. But anyway, so I, I really wanted a Holga, and I found this one, and it's really, it's really cute. It's a really cute little camera with the, the kind of the, the uh, uh, Japanese motif. In fact, it says, you know, limited edition Japan, or Japan limited edition. But it's from China. It doesn't even actually say from where it's in place of origin. But anyway, it's a Holga 120N. Now this takes 120 film. You know, 120 film. We all know and love it. And um, you can take either 12 or 16 pictures with this. And we'll set this right here. And we'll dump, dump the rest of the stuff out the box. And it's empty. Anyway, so you get a strap, and then you get you get two masks, and we're going to take this off. And um, these things have a, a habit of the back coming off. Um, there's even a, uh, a thing you can get on Thingiverse to 3D print, like a little clamp that goes around the top. It's supposed to help with light leaks, plus keep the back in. I've seen people put like um, Velcro and then a Velcro across it trying to keep the back from falling off. Um, I've also seen people um, pushing these clips the wrong direction. What you want to do is pull them down until it, until it opens that up and then down, down until it uncovers that. And now the back should come right off. Or not. Yeah, make a liar out of me. <laughs> but, okay, so it comes with the strap. And it comes with, this is the mask. This is the mask for 16. Let's see if we can get that up so it reflects. Yeah, this is the mask if you want to take 16 pictures. Now there's a window on the back that you can switch also to go 16 or 12 pictures. So there's the 16 mask, and I've got in the camera at the moment, I've got the 12. And you can kind of see, see this one says 12 up here in the corner. There it is. You can kind of see, well, you should easily be able to see the difference in the in the opening here. So that would be like a, a bigger a bigger picture or a smaller picture with this one than this one. So you this would be for 16 photos on a roll. And this is the 12 photos on a roll. And that correlates to, this is the back of the film camera we just took off, and that correlates to this window here. You can see my shirt through there. Now, if, if you can see the arrow is pointing at 12, then you should have the 12 mask in there. And if you slide this up, slide this up without breaking the mask or there we go slide it up so it's pointing at 16 then you can have this mask if you don't you'll probably have a lot of overlap which might be interesting too but I just really love the pattern on this thing that's why I got it was even happy or even not too upset about it taking taking two months to get um, one of the reasons they said it took so long is because they have an outbreak of the coronavirus if you don't if you didn't know 
And then you have like a little little manual. Looks like it's probably going to be in Chinese and French and I don't know. But anyway, who needs who needs instructions, right? Okay. So there so then you can switch back and forth for your different different however many different um, shots you want to take with this. Okay. So now the basic camera itself. Now <laughs> These are kind of notorious, and hence the reason, for being very sloppy. You can kind of see how, how loose the, ta the take-up reel is in here. And if you kind of look, look at the mechanism, it's, it, from what I can see, it looks just like the, the shutter, the shutter in my brownie. Or the shutter in my, um, oh, what was that other, uh, I did a, did a video on it before. Um, uh, the shutter in my, one of my Canon box, or not Canon, yeah, Kodak box cameras. It looks like the same shutter. And, and actually, if you, you have a, like a bulb mode, and we're going to normal and bulb mode, so you can do long exposures if you want to. So we'll switch it to bulb. Now we'll take the lens off. It's it's a it's a the the shutter release. The shutter release has nothing to do with the winder, absolutely nothing. So if you wanted to, you could just keep just keep clicking, and it will just keep doing prints on that one that one frame of film. If you wanted to do that but okay so you also so you have your normal and your bulb we're gonna leave it on bulb for a second now when you push it down there's there's your big or actually your small your small aperture so it's got like two whole apertures boom right there you can slide it over and this is your this is your dark aperture and it's even bigger. So we'll do that again. There's the small one for Sunny. There's the bright, or the big one for dim, cloudy. Also on this, so now you've got, you've got this control. You've got this control. Now you've also have, you can also focus it. And that's for distance. That's for fairly close, large group of people. That's for a couple of people. And here's for like close up, close up for like a portrait. I don't really think there's much of a difference if you was to rotate the camera sideways. You know, like landscape, portrait. It looks like it's a square hole. This maybe. This might give you a landscape and a portrait difference. Maybe. But anyway, so when you're done taking pictures, done taking the picture, <clears throat> what you end up doing, and it actually will, give me a second, and we'll actually, I'm not gonna put like a roll of film in it. Um, oh, and also, so you've got your, you've got your, your aperture, you've got your shutter, and it's probably like one uh, sixtieth or something. It says it's an, an f an f sixty or a sixty millimeter lens. Woohoo! And at one point eight aperture, which is probably um, probably the bigger of the two. The smaller would be yeah, it's probably the one point eight on the on the uh, cloudy day, and then the one or sixteen on the sunny day, which probably you don't have any control. It isn't like it isn't like my uh, uh, AE1 or A1. You get one. You get one speed. But anywho, that's kind of why I bought it, just to be kind of silly. Now, like I said before, the winder will only wind one direction. The winder has nothing to do with the shutter. Doesn't matter. You can wind half of it and then take another picture if you want. Or another exposure, exposure. Anyway, and now, like I was kind of talking about how, 
kind of kind of cheap this thing is. This is this is what it, they use to keep the the film reels taunt. And it's got it's got a little viewfinder. Hi, there I am. Yes. No batteries in it, so don't don't expect to find like a light meter in there or anything like that. It ain't gonna happen. It there's it ain't gonna happen. It's like my the old my old box box brownie. It ain't gonna happen. Just go out and shoot it and have a good time. So now and also I've seen somebody I can't remember. I think they said something about a 43 a 43 millimeter um, uh, like adapter um, will fit on this, but you have to kind of force it. You have to make it take it because there's no there's no threads in here, so you'd have to kind of make it take it, which would give you the ability to throw some kind of filter on it or a color filter or something like that if you wanted to do that. Or even well, it's got a it's got a lens cap kind of hokey. But that's that's kind of the idea behind this camera is it's kind of hokey and it's kind of fun to shoot with. So and also, I brought this brought this um, uh, out of my bag. It's supposed to fit. It fits Canons, Canon cameras. I just grabbed it out of my bag. Battery's getting kind of weak on it, but this hot shoe actually works. So we shall slide it on and then we shall wait for the light and it's ready and, and it works. Wait for the light again. Now remember, I haven't touched this yet and it will just keep firing, firing the, uh, firing the, the shutter and firing the flash. So yeah, the hot shoe does work and it seems to, seems to be working for even a, uh, Sun pack, yeah, sun pack for a Canon. So, eh. it does not have a PC port though. Does not have a PC port. So, we're going to load some film in it, and we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot at 12. 12. And let's. And I picked up a, a sample pack of this ultra fine film. I heard. The Ultrafine 400, I've heard nothing but good things about the Ultrafine 400, but the 100, there was like reviews back in 2013 about the 100 being crap, but the later ones, I guess they may fix the, fix the emulsion or something, but anyway, so we're going to, we're going to throw some of this in there because we're going to shoot it outdoors probably this weekend or maybe even on the way home. So, if I can get the bag open, I'm so handy. Oh, for the love. And this is, this is not expired. This is July of 2024. So it should be a good, a good roll of film. Although black and white isn't quite as isn't quite as testy as as color <laughs> maybe i ain't getting this open there we go yay victory so we'll take off our little paper our unexposed Ooh. slide it in this is the take up because it's got just the just the little dimple and unlike an slr um, this just, you just wind it onto the other spool. So then when you're done, this spool will be empty and you put it over here. So we'll slide it in, slide this in, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, come on, go in the hole. Tucky, go down the hole. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas, maybe. So we take our spool, take our little tab out. This does not look like it has a it has a different on either side, different size slot on either side, just a regular 120 spool. We'll slide it up in here. And we'll twist it a little bit. 
make sure it's good and caught, maybe. Make sure it's good and caught, maybe. Yeah. Here we go. And we'll see if we can line up our our little driver. There it goes. Maybe. Come on. Ducky go down the hole. There we go. Now it falls in. Okay. So now we've got our film in. Let's wind it on until make sure everything is gonna to, gonna to work for us until we see our our big black arrow. Until we see our big black arrow. There's our big black arrow. Now we can put the back on. Okay, because we got the mask in. Now we can put the back on, but we want to switch it to 12 because we have our 12 in. So now we want to switch this to 12 without breaking it out. And from what I understand, a lot of people will put a piece of um, paper or something over this in bright sunlight because the red will filter through, to, through the paper and cause like, well, a light leak. So we'll put this on. We'll slide this up. And make sure it's all, make sure the little tabs are over the little, little um, race part. And that should keep the back on. You can kind of see, <laughs> you can kind of see how, how tightly this thing is put together. But that's kind of the fun of this camera, is it takes the deliciously crappy pictures. Okay, so now, now that we've got it all put together, now we roll, 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 roll. Hey, things are moving. Should have that big black. Should have that. Hey, there's that bar. Remember the remember the the, the arrow that was over here. It was got that. Let's see if it gives you any warning. I've never shot this film before. Huh. Being that I just got this last night. You are enjoying the fun of it with me. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, so now we've got another arrow. Clear up at the top, so things are moving along. There's another arrow, probably telling us that the number's coming up. Oh, for the love. Okay, dots. We've got little dots. It's kind of like um, Ilford. I've heard people say that it, it is Ilford. And then there's our one. So we're at frame one. Yay. We are at frame one. Yay. Now, what, I'm na what I've named this camera, being that it's coming from China, and it's um, we're right in the middle. They were right in the middle of a virus. I call this camera Corona. <laughs> Corona. Anyway, so I'll probably shoot it this weekend. Maybe throw some of this on in it too. Um, the sample pack come with three of each. But yeah, happy shooting. You have a wonderful day. This has been this has been comfortably blind. And you have a great weekend.